Hey everybody, today has been a day of news and it's coming in thick and fast. I've been waiting for today for a while and I've been itching to share this exciting news with you. And now I can formally bring you the latest ZWO news about what the team have been working on these past months and what's been so secretive. And it's not just one thing. There's loads of surprises, and if you're going to be at Neef, well, you'll get to see them all in person. So, stay tuned for all the latest news right here on Astroworks. Hey everybody, my name's Simon and welcome to Astroworks, your friendly guide to the world of astronomy, full of hints and tips on how to get the best out of this amazing hobby. So, just a reminder that Astroworks is coming to Neef and I'll be presenting there on today's news, so do come along if you get the chance. I'll also be presenting some of my own material as well about imaging from the Southern Hemisphere and I hope it's going to be educational and entertaining. I'm also looking forward to seeing many of you there, and both Tyler and I are very excited by it all. So, news announced by ZWO today is that the little ASI Air is getting a makeover, with a new model coming to the market, the new ASI Air Plus 256G. So this is a new version of the ever popular ASI Air, but with an optional memory expansion to 256GB of memory. That will be great news for those images that create lots of data using EAA or planetary and solar imaging and like to eat through memory quickly, or if you like me, just always forgetting to delete stuff. The new expanded memory offers a big leap in internal storage and that will mean that 244GB are now available on this model for user storage which is a good chunk by anybody's standards. Now, this is an upgrade option, and the original 32GB version will still be available. So if you're still wanting a Plus model and not needing the extra memory, then that option will still be open to you. But you might want to just hang around for a moment, as the 256GB model does come with some surprises. Overall, the bulk of the specs for the ASI Air remain the same. It's the same little ASI Air that we all know and love. Everything such as its size and weight, the power port availability and capacity, USB port availability and items like station mode and the likes all stay the same. So you're not going to have to rebuild your system to accommodate it. And there are no app upgrades to utilize it. There are some small internal hardware changes though, which might come as a surprise. The 256GB version is now based on a custom ZWO compute board, so it's now time to say goodbye to the Raspberry Pi compute platform with this increased memory version. And like the little mini version, the 256 model gets its own proprietary ZWO module. Now this move to a proprietary board is not that surprising and should help with supply chain issues, as the availability and price of the Raspberry Pi components has had a huge impact on stock availability over the past years. Pi components have just been spiraling up in price and have been really hard to obtain. If you've tried to buy a Pi board any time recently, you'll know exactly what I mean. The new 256GB model to compute platform comes with a new CPU as well as ZWO move away from the CM4 board. This time it's based on the Rockchip RK3568 CPU. This is a 4-core ARM architectured A55 Cortex processor. Now, that change allows ZWO to move away from the Pi modules, but also gives us a rather nice jump in processing power. So what does that change in compute platform offer in terms of performance? Well, firstly it means that video capture speeds are slightly improved, which is good news if you like doing planetary or solar imaging. The new compute board is an improvement on video of about 30% comparing frames per second from the original 32GB version. Memory read write times are going to pretty much stay as they are, an average 122 megabytes a second for read and 95 megabytes a second write speed. But the new CPU is obviously able to handle video capture better with the increased CPU power, which is good news. The change in CPU and compute board also is good news for EAA images. With short exposure EAA imaging, the imaging efficiency will be improved by about 26%, so we'll speed up save times. This increased processing power will also benefit short exposures like those used on bias frames or flats, and those will help when making those post-imaging session saves. 
Now these are pre-production figures and ZWO will have more details soon, but it's clear that there is a reasonable advantage on the new platform if you're an EAA or planetary imager. And that combined with the additional storage could well make the upgrade an attractive proposition. That's an exciting update to the ASI Air coming real soon and news from headquarters is that this 256 gigabyte model will come in at $399 and will be available by the time where you watch this video. Yep, that soon. And we'll be covering off an in-depth review as soon as I get a chance after Neef. Now, there's plenty more exciting news coming from ZWO over the next week or so as we close in on Neef. If you like today's video, then do give that like button a thump and hit the subscribe and we'll let you know as soon as we have new content published. We really appreciate all the comments and your support. That's it for this time. Thanks for watching. As always, we wish you clear skies and kind regards from New Zealand.